I'm Miranda Lowe and I'm the collection manager and senior curator looking after this star specimen, which is a coral, the Turbinaria species, and it's about to go into our coral reef exhibition. It's been in storage for the last 20 years, so I'm really excited that this is actually going to make its journey back to the museum. The main concerns about moving any specimen, in particular one as large and as heavy as this, is how fragile the specimen is. We don't want it to get damaged in transit. The vehicle that was hired has special tyres to reduce any kind of bounce or vibrations for the specimen. The way it works is it automatically compensates with the air. So if you go over a bump, it will automatically give you a smooth ride because it will lift it and drop it as it needs to. Once it gets to the museum, it's in the hands of the conservation team. The first thing we'll do when we get it across is we'll take the lid off and have a look inside and see how well it's travelled. And then we'll gradually try and remove all the packaging around it so we can get a good 360 degree look. And then we can start talking about how we're going to treat it and make it beautiful for display. One thing I do love is to take a specimen that needs care, needs a little bit of treatment. So have a good look underneath, Miranda. As you can see, there's a lot of original plaster still, nails sticking out, but you can see the base of the coral there where they'd obviously embedded it. It's a bit like being a hospital, really, with a set of doctors and consultants. A specimen will come in here for treatment, a bit like a patient. We'll do a patient record. We'll even take sometimes pictures, x-rays, whatever, and that's its medical record, and that stays then with the specimen for life. It's quite fabulous because now for the first time I can see around so now it actually exposed its uh, glamorous side and its uh, non-glamorous side, <laughs> as it were. I would just try and do a sympathetic clean using probably just a jet of air initially. We don't want to make it all look bleached white or anything because that's not natural and that's not how it would have been. Pick a nice dirty bit. Yeah. So it's looking so much better now, isn't it? I can't believe it. How many days have you done so far on it? Um, it's been about six days now. Just got one last bit left to do. Great. You see things that are on display and you don't necessarily know how many hours or days it's taken to get them there, but it's been a really lovely journey that we've had with this specimen and it'll be really satisfying to see it in the gallery and to watch people's reaction, knowing that we had a part in, 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 in enabling that.